Have you ever found yourself knee deep in a job that keeps getting bigger and bigger, but you stick with it despite the fact that it's now much more effort than it's worth? Why wouldn't you just quit? Well, we strive to be consistent in life, and this is a powerful motivator both of our thoughts and behaviours. Consistency is the second of the six principles of influence that Cialdini identified. We see lots of evidence of this in studies looking at attitude behaviour relations. According to both Festinger's cognitive dissonance theory and Heider's balance theory, we're strongly motivated to maintain a consistent set of thoughts. Festinger thought that inconsistency was actually aversive or uncomfortable, and the drive to restore consistency was similar to our drive to satisfy our hunger and thirst. It's not just the drive to be consistent that influences us. According to Roy Baumeister, the desire to appear consistent is also very influential. So, after committing yourself to a thing or a position, you should be more willing to comply with requests for behaviours that are consistent with that position. There are a number of different ways that consistency can influence us, or ways that we can use consistency to influence other people. The first of the consistency techniques that we're going to talk about is called the foot in the door technique, which is a two-step procedure. You start off by asking for something small, something that people are almost certainly going to say yes to, and once you've locked them in with that very small favour, you crank it up. You ask the real favour, which is much bigger then they really feel pressured to agree. For example, if anybody has ever asked you, do you mind coming around to help me shift my couch? Before you know it, they're asking you to help move the entire house. If so, then you've been a victim of the foot in the door technique. 